Well, not too far away from Mujibur Rahman or Bongo Bondhu's memorial, right, right over here uh, on this street, is yet another memory which seems to have erased one part of the legacy or history of Bangladesh. The lead singer of Jolly Gan, which is a very popular band, not just in Bangladesh but the world over, Rahul Anand's residence over here. Now, he was not himself in the house and now he and his family, we are being told, has gone underground because they want to stay away from this controversy. But also, what went away with this house was that over 3,000 music instruments, which he himself had crafted, apart from that, documents, playlists, songs as well, and a large amount of his personal belongings as well. But let's try and understand the location of Rahul Anand's residence. Well, some people say it was just a collateral damage because if you just look at these pictures, it's where the residence of one of the sons of Sheikh Hasina is also here. In fact, his office was also here, and it is believed that the main target was actually his office, but this became a collateral damage. However, Jolir Gan has itself come out with a statement which says his house was always a open house because a house of music, and they don't think he was targeted because of his religion. It just happened to be there at the wrong time, at the wrong place, and therefore what happened really was unfortunate. But on that fateful few days and nights we saw in Bangladesh out on the streets, when we saw many statues which were pulled down of Bongobondu, the memorial also being burned down and those we spoke to kept on talking about the fact that they were targeted the statues were targeted because the anger was actually directed at Sheikh Hasina and these statues these buildings just reminded them of her and therefore the main target was actually the residence of one of the sons of Sheikh Hasina who lives in London and the fire just spread here but this is an unfortunate you see those pictures I can still get the smell of smoke over here which in a sense of irony also depicts the fact that the memories may fade away but in a sense they also continue to linger and uh, you know you can see the broken glass panes uh, you know you can see those uh, black suit on the pots the flower pots and the walls and you know th this house is of course a memory of that a certain part of Bangladesh or rather Dhaka and Bangladesh culture also moved away very quickly Rahul Anand also had a very VVIP visitor the French president had heard his song back in France and he wanted to come and meet him when he visited Dhaka and he had requested Sheikh Hasina that ensure I get two hours with him for a meal as well as music well, he was so mesmerized by the music, it carried on for over four hours. Just goes on to show the popularity of Rahul Anand as well and what his music was all about. Well, the band has issued a statement saying that the music will go on as music just goes on. But yes, as I leave you with these pictures, these are a scenes of those horrific days of Bangladesh. We saw a regime change, we saw a lot of things change, but it also took a prize as far as that change is concerned. With Rakesh Negi in Dhaka, but we coach.